Let's turn back to those polls for a minute. Those poll numbers represent people. And while Democratic leaders are rallying behind the president, there's a definite trend. So we went to Pennsylvania to find out what voters in the state that helped deliver Biden the presidency think about him now. From the Pennsylvania state capitol in Harrisburg to historic Philadelphia and the suburbs, Democrats are divided on whether or not President Biden should be running again. You voted for Biden. I did. He announced this week. What was your reaction? Regret, disappointment, frustration. While it's very early in the race, that disappointment and frustration was expressed again and again by young voters we talked to. I think I would go for Biden, but obviously I would prefer a fresher candidate. He announced this week. Were yeah. you excited by that? Uh, not particularly. I'm more interested in a progressive candidate. Despite having voted for Biden last time, 21-year-old yeah. Elena Symes couldn't point me to anything that would make her want to vote for him again, except... What do you like about Joe Biden? <laughs> um, uh, that he's not Trump. <laughs> the hesitation for many is exactly what the polls say. Age. I would say that he's way too old and very unfit to be president. And, and when you say he's too old, do you worry about his health or the ideas just too old? We want to see new ideas as a young generation. But don't tell that to 32-year-old Pennsylvania State Representative Malcolm Kenyatta. We have seen really the type of leader who I think not only deserves four more years, but frankly, I will say the American people, we need him to finish the job. As a Biden surrogate, he's working to downplay voters' fears about the president's age and rally them around his candidacy. And I think for the next you know, year and a half of this campaign, I think our job as Democrats is to really push back against this narrative that there are two uh, equally competent and two equally accomplished um, executives in terms of the former president and the current president. At the Southwest Senior Center in Philadelphia, Biden's age is an asset, not a liability. Do you talk politics here? You talk everything here. It's life. <laughs> What do you talk about when you talk politics? We're talking about Medicare. We're talking about Medicaid. We're talking about Social Security. We're talking about living arrangements. So when you think about your lives and all those issues, mm -hmm. who's your candidate? Well, that to me is a no-brainer. That would be Biden. The Biden campaign seems to be on more solid ground with older voters we spoke to, a group that helped propel Biden to victory in 2020. Do you worry at all about his age? No, not at all, no. As long as he's getting the job done and doing what he's supposed to do and in the right state of mind, that's what should be required. It's not just the age gap Biden needs to worry about, it's the geography. It wasn't really the cities that powered Biden to victory in 2020. It was the suburbs that really made the difference. So we went to Northampton County in the Lehigh Valley, a bellwether county that voted for Obama twice, then flipped to Trump in 2016 before going blue with Biden in 2020. Propelled by voters like Steve Davis, who aren't motivated by party, instead inspired or uninspired by candidates. When you look at Biden, you voted for him in 2020. What gives you pause if you're having some sort of pause? Well, obviously his age. Obviously his age and also getting the party together to accomplish something. Comparison is what Biden is banking on, that voters will dislike the alternative enough to go out and vote for him. What's the single reason you would vote for Joe Biden? because I'm not going to vote for Trump. <laughs> it's not easy. But there is also an enthusiasm gap, commitment that gets people to the polls, and that is clearly something Biden will have to work on. I feel so uninspired and disconnected from the work that he's been advancing that it's, it's not something I'm really excited about. So in the end, if, if, if Donald Trump is the nominee and Joe Biden is the nominee, you'd just stay home. Probably. Get me out of bed, Joe Biden, because frankly, it's not working. A long way to election day. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.